Hi everyone, welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Courtney Ryan, and today I'm gonna to be going over some of the easiest summer outfits that you can rock the rest of this summer. I've done some videos on summer essentials that you need, I've done accessory essentials, but I haven't really done a video where I put together some outfits for you, so today specifically, I'm going to be doing the easiest summer outfits that you will look amazing in. So I'm gonna be breaking down the video into five different scenarios that you might find yourself in this summer, so regardless of where you're at, you have an outfit ready to go. So Number one, we have running errands slash athleisure. So I don't know about you guys, but this is a scenario that I find myself in the most often whenever I have to leave the house, but I don't necessarily want to get all dolled up, do my hair and my makeup, but I still wanna look presentable in case someone recognizes me. I've actually just now started being recognized in public, um, so that's very new for me. So I wanna make sure I look at least a little bit decent um, in case I happen to run into any of you. So I'm sure all of you guys feel the same way. Maybe you don't want to get you know dressed to the nine but you still want to look laid back, casual, chill, and presentable, but like you put in a little bit of effort. So this outfit is gonna be perfect for a more chill, laid back type of day. If you find yourself having to run errands, if you're going to the gym, if you're going for a walk, just something very casual. So for this one, I just have a basic t-shirt, a pair of joggers or sweat shorts, depending on what your preference is, and then a pair of athletic sneakers. So I wanted to highlight the fact that it's a pair of athletic sneakers here. You could also throw on a pair of casual sneakers, like a white sneaker, or something, but I'm saving that one for a more casual day that's a little bit of a step above this one. So this one, again, would be perfect if you're going to the gym, going for a walk, you're gonna be outside, you're gonna be running errands. This is a very chill, casual day, like the chillest of the chill days. So I think this outfit is perfect for that. You're still gonna look nice and put together, but without a ton of effort or looking like you tried too hard, it's also going to be comfortable, which let's be honest, is a huge importance. I know I love to be comfortable. Normally when I leave the house, I'm in like a workout tank and leggings, even if I didn't work out. I know some of you guys will hate on me for that and that's okay because I'm comfortable. So again here, you could go with a pair of joggers or sweat shorts, kind of depending on the temperature outside. I know sometimes in the morning, it's been really gloomy here lately, like actually kind of chilly, um, which is shocking for July. So I would opt for a pair of joggers instead of the sweatshorts, but whatever you prefer is totally up to you. I know some of you guys don't even like to wear shorts or joggers. So again, totally up to you. And for the basic t-shirt, you could really go for any color. I would try to avoid things like neons, things that are very bright and colorful. Um, I typically gravitate towards the basics, uh, the more neutral colors I think always look a lot better if you're wearing like a white t-shirt with a pair of gray joggers and black athletic sneakers, I think that's a great choice. So if you want a pop of color, maybe you think my advice is boring, that is totally okay. It's really up to you. But I do think the versatile colors for t-shirts, uh, things like joggers, sweat shorts, and sneakers, sticking to the basic versatile colors are going to give you a lot more use out of them, which is why I preach the basics and the neutrals so much. So keep that in mind. So number two, we have daytime casual. So this one is gonna be a step above that running errands, athleisure type of look. You could wear this to a daytime date if you were meeting up with friends. If you're literally doing anything else that doesn't involve you getting too dressed up, I think this is a great choice. You're gonna look nice, but you're not gonna look like you tried too hard, which is the goal here. So again, it's gonna be very similar to the last outfit, but just kind of a little step up, like a little advancement. So I have a t-shirt, a pair of nicer chino type shorts instead of that sweat short, and then the casual sneaker instead of that athletic sneaker. So I wanted to highlight the difference difference between the two. An athletic sneaker is gonna be something like an Adidas Ultra Boost, something from Nike, something along those lines that you could wear to work out, go for a run, go to the gym, whatever it is. A casual sneaker is going to be something that you could not wear to the gym. So it's gonna be a white sneaker or something a little bit more elevated that you could wear on a daily basis. You guys know that white sneakers are my all-time favorite, but I know some of you guys absolutely despise those for a good reason. I know that they're hard to keep clean, but in my opinion, they look the best. So of course, whatever you choose is up to you. I've seen a ton of kind of retro type casual sneakers coming back that I really like, um, kind of 70s style vibes. So definitely love those. Again, totally up to you and your personal style preference, but just go for that casual sneaker instead of that athletic sneaker here. I would recommend staying away from darker colors in the summer just because they are going to make you a lot more hot. Um, so you could go for a white t-shirt with a pair of tan chinos or a sage green t-shirt or a light blue t-shirt 
t-shirt whatever floats your boat it's totally up to you I think this is an area where you can add a pop of color if you wanted to get a little fancy here and add some layering you could also do a plain white t-shirt with like a patterned um, short sleeve button up over it I've seen a lot of guys really rock that this summer and I think it looks great so that's an option and then if you want to go for a more smart casual look so this is going to be another step above this daytime casual is that smart casual you could swap that t-shirt for like a linen button up I prefer long sleeves with the sleeves rolled up you guys know that or even a polo and then swap that sneaker for a loafer if you're going something that's a little bit nicer maybe you're going to a really nice brunch spot a daytime date something where you want to look a little step above that daytime casual the smart casual is a great way to go again swapping that t-shirt for a linen shirt or a polo something a little nicer and then swapping that sneaker for a loafer number three we have summer at work so this one can be a little bit tricky because I know a lot of you guys probably have to wear suits or layer up quite a bit but this outfit particularly is going to be perfect for the guys that want to still look really nice and professional without sweating in your office so because I know some of you have different types of dress codes depending on where you work I'm gonna give you guys a couple swap out options here um, some things you can add or take away or swap out to make it fit for your scenario so if you don't have to wear a suit every day the guys that have to wear a suit every day I'm sorry this is not for you you gotta wear a suit you already know what you're gonna wear you're gonna wear the same thing tomorrow that you probably wore yesterday um, whatever it is you got to wear a suit so this one doesn't really work but if you don't find yourself having to wear a suit every day I would recommend a trouser that's a safe option for everyone with a polo if a short sleeve polo or kind of Cuban collar shirt is too casual for your workplace you could swap that out for an Oxford button down something that's a little bit more elevated and traditional for the workplace either one is great and then you could go for a pair of dress shoes or leather loafers also depending on what you prefer some guys don't really like to wear uh, dress socks with uh, dress shoes in the summertime I know it can get kind of stuffy um, so it totally is up to you and your preference and what works for your workplace some things are gonna work for some guys and not for other guys so just decide based on what works for you but I think either one is a great option and if you want to look a little bit more elevated and fancy you could always pop on a blazer as well um, for the trouser I would recommend sticking with something a little more basic and then you can have fun with like a patterned blazer or something like that and I love this outfit because it's very easy and you don't have to worry about a ton of layers even if you had the blazer you could easily take that off during the day and have no problem so great option for all of you guys working in an office this summer if you have a specific dress code I would love to know what it is down below do workplaces even do dress codes anymore after the pandemic situation working from home I really don't know obviously I work from home in my studio so let me know down below kind of what you guys find yourself wearing to work would love to know just from my own personal knowledge for future videos for you guys another thing for the summer at work look is you can really play around with fabric here so I see a lot of guys wear like linen blazers in the summertime or linen trousers I think those always look really cool so don't be afraid to have a little fun and play around with your fabric in the summertime look number four we have by the pool so if you're doing any sort of summer activity this could be a cookout a family gathering a pool party a festival whatever it is you're going to want to wear something that's going to keep you cool in the heat for this reason I'm recommending a pair of swim shorts that could kind of double as a pair of regular shorts and a pair of swim shorts that way you kind of get double use out of it um, if you're going to a party maybe during the day that then turns into a pool party you can just take your shirt off and be totally fine to get into the pool with what you're wearing you don't have to pack things with you and that's just really annoying to deal with so you can just wear one thing and be totally fine regardless of kind of where the day takes you so you could go for a versatile color that would kind of work with any sort of shirt you wanted to throw on um, but this is also a place where you can have a little bit of fun it's summertime there's a ton of fun colors and patterns and prints and all of that good stuff so if you're into that now is your time to shine I've seen a ton of really awesome swim shorts that guys wear um, that work totally fine in the daytime in the pool whatever you find yourself doing they're fine you could pair this with a linen button down if you guys don't already know linen is the perfect fabric for summertime it's very breathable and natural those synthetic fibers those synthetic shirts that you guys are buying from cheaper places often trap in a lot of heat um, so going for a natural fiber is great and linen is the number one for summertime so that's a great option you could also go for just a short sleeve button down you could keep it buttoned throughout the day or leave it open whatever you prefer is totally up to you there's really no 
fashion rules at a pool party. You can wear whatever the heck you want. And I think this is just a really easy outfit that keeps you from having to pack extra clothes. And number five, getting a little bit fancy here, we have a date night. Obviously this one is going to depend where you're going for the date. So definitely dress accordingly, depending on the situation that you're going to be finding yourself in. But this is for all of you that are in a nighttime setting. Maybe you're going somewhere a little bit fancy. It doesn't even have to be a date night. I think this could really just be if you find yourself needing to dress up a little bit. So for this one, I chose an Oxford button down with a denim or chino. Typically, I would say stay away from denim in the summer. I wear denim in the summertime. I know a ton of guys do too, but it can be very uncomfortable and stuffy. Um, I think at nighttime, it can be okay because you're not gonna be in the sun um, and it's gonna be dark. So you're not gonna have to worry about dying from heat wearing a pair of denim. But if you notice, that's why I left off denim from all the other scenarios on this list because I do think it can be a little bit stuffy in the summertime. So again, I'm gonna give you some swap out options depending on the scenario that you find yourself in. Um, if you're going somewhere a little bit nicer, I would recommend a button down with a pair of chinos or some sort of trouser, um, maybe with a loafer or a dress shoe. And then if you're doing something more casual at night, but you still wanna look nice, maybe you're going to the club, um, I would do a button down with like a pair of denim and a sneaker, something like that that's a little bit more relaxed and not so dressed up. So again, totally going to depend on your situation, what you find yourself doing, but I think regardless, a button down is always a very safe option, especially 100%, you need to roll those sleeves up, especially in the summertime. I think it's just very sexy when a guy wears a long sleeve button down and then rolls his sleeves up, you show a little bit of skin, a little bit of forearm, love it. And I know it can sometimes get a little bit chilly at night too, so you might wanna throw on a jacket. Um, if it's a little bit more casual, you could do a bomber jacket, something like that. If you're finding yourself in a more fancy situation, I think a blazer is always a really great option too. So guys, that is all I have for five easy summer outfit ideas. I think regardless of what situation you find yourself in this summer, there's something on this list for you. So if you guys liked this video or found it helpful, be sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to my channel to be in the loop for when I release new content. If you have haven't already be sure to follow me on instagram at corny christine ryan i love connecting with all of you guys on there as well let me know in the comments down below what your favorite summer outfit is and give some other guys ideas as well keep in mind none of these outfits are like crazy fashionista city you're gonna walk the catwalk in new york city on fashion week i really wanted to make this very easy for you guys i think this is a great place to start if you don't know where to start with your wardrobe especially in the summer it can be a little bit tricky to still look nice while staying cool so Keep that in mind as well. These are all very easy outfits regardless of who you are. You don't need to spend a ton of money on these. You could get all of this stuff probably at H&M. Um, totally depends on your budget, of course, but keep in mind that these are easy outfits and I made them that way for a reason. As always, thank you all so much for watching and I will see you all next time.